<clears throat> Hello, Manny. I just wanted to show you um, how to download the Adobe Digital Editions. I understand exactly what you're talking about. Um, this site is kind of set up a, a little weird. I think it's geared more toward iPhones and iPads, but the desktop edition works just fine. I sent you the link directly to the downloads uh, page. And up here at the top, there's a, in little print, it says download digital edition for Mac or download digital edition for Windows. And you'll see and the big buttons for the App Store and Google Play, and you don't need to worry about that if you're using a desktop. Um, if you're using PC, this is your download here. If you're using Mac, this is your download, and you just click on it and download, download it as you would any other file off the internet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you my downloads folder. I've already downloaded um, Shades of Healing, Kindle Ready .epub. Uh, the only thing that's not ready on this file, I sent it yesterday to you, uh, is that one sentence. And the point of confusion in that sentence was that the last part of that sentence was missing a verb. It was missing was. And I was unclear if you if you were thinking uh, that the taxi drivers knew that it was a fixed budget, or I mean the ambulance drivers knew that it was a fixed budget, or if you were just uh, repeating yourself because you said it just a few sentences before. But it's, that's not a big deal at all. Um, so I have both of these. The, this is Adobe Edition uh, uh, 4.5, which is right there for Mac. I'm using a Mac. And also I have this ready to go in my downloads folder. So I've already downloaded it. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I've, this is just uh, some books that I've had. Um, you just go to File. This is Adobe Dig Digital Editions on Mac. It looks pretty much the same on PC. Go to File and Add to Library, and I'm going to navigate to where I've already downloaded the book. My computer, uh, very much like me, works slowly in the morning. Um, it's in my Downloads file, Shades of Healing, Kindle Ready .epub. I'm going to add that. It takes just a second, and I'm going to double click on it and open up the book. And you'll see your beautiful title here, uh, the copyright page, which now has a uh, your Kindle edition, March 2017, and your ISBN number. Uh, I looked at uh, a lot of different, I read a lot of books. I read about uh, five best-selling books a week on Kindle in my editing job, and um, most of them don't have the dashes, and they go ahead and say Kindle edition. You have to say that, uh, or Kindle will not publish it. Um, Ebook designed in the United States by Sharper Cool Books. That's me, and I have a link to my website. Uh, if you don't like that, uh, this is your book. We can take it off. Um, and I just uh, just navigate through here, see if if you want to change anything. Um, this part one is actually the first page of the book, um, so it's not part of the contents. Uh, so that, that's not an extension of your table of contents. Um, so if you click on anything in your table of contents, it takes you there. You can also click over here on the left. Uh, this little arrow will bring down the table of contents. It's another way for your reader to navigate through your book. And all of these are live. You can uh, click on it and it'll take you there. So you can look through it, see if there's any last minute changes that you want. Um, I did have one concern. Um, and it's in, I think it's in chapter 13. Nope. It's where you discuss your own experience with your, um, you know, you had an infection at one point. And um, there, there was quite a bit of, uh, oh, there it is. It's uh, chapter 17. Now, this is one thing that you need to look at whenever you upload your book to Kindle. Um, there's quite a bit of italics in this chapter. Um, I'll go ahead and show you here. Chapter 17. See how there's so many italics? Uh, Kindle does not like italics. And you had like all these paragraphs here, uh, three paragraphs in a row, dead gum, that are all italics in chapter 17. I'm sorry if this is giving you a vertigo here. Uh, there's a poss very slight possibility that Kindle will read this wrong and it'll show up 
not in italics or in bold or something like that. And that's one of the reasons why I've taken out all the spaces. Um, Kindle does not like spacing. But anyway, that's just one thing to look for. Um, if you want any last minute changes, I'm happy to do that for you. Uh, and even after the book is published, uh, Kindle has made it extremely easy to update your ebook. So uh, that's very different from the publishing uh, world and also from your print book. Uh, your print book will be difficult to update, but your ebook is um, very, uh, very easy to edit or relatively easy to edit. So, anyway, hope you like it. Uh, let me know if you have any last minute changes and let me know also if you have any additional questions. Thanks very much, Manny. Bye bye.